The more we add layers of defense to our cybersecurity, the more cyber criminals will find ways to try to evade those layers. To try to evade two-factor authentication or 2FA, criminals have been using a technique called 2FA bombing, which is exploiting 2FA fatigue. And that's what this video is all about. The Uber breach of September 2022 shows how this can play out, and it was described by the criminals behind that attack themselves. According to the person apparently behind the Uber breach, they had the credentials of somebody working at Uber, which they seemingly purchased on the dark web. However, they could not access that Uber account with just the username and password alone. The employee had 2FA enabled. So if they wanted to access the account, they had to get past that as well. They circumvented this by socially engineering the employee themselves, spamming them with 2FA requests over the space of an hour or so to grind their defenses down. When the employee didn't respond, this, this 2FA bombing wasn't working. Apparently, the attacker sent the Uber employee a WhatsApp and they were masquerading as IT in Uber and told them, hey, you're getting these 2FA requests you need to accept. And apparently that worked. The criminal behind this attack was then apparently able to use the compromised account to access Uber databases and source code. They also seemingly were able to access Uber's bug bounty reports, which could pose an even larger threat, of course, because they probably contain sensitive information about vulnerabilities that could be used or sold to compromise Uber in the future. In recent years, we have seen multiple cases of 2FA bombing being used to compromise organizations. We need to be aware that this is only likely to increase, for the time being at least. If you work in cybersecurity, this is a reminder that you may want to consider limiting 2FA requests so that only a certain number can be received, and you may want to raise awareness of 2FA fatigue and 2FA bombing among your colleagues. And it's a reminder for all of us not to engage in 2FA requests if we didn't prompt that request. If you receive a 2FA notification that you didn't request, then not only should you ignore that, but you should also change your password and you should make the password strong and unique. If you aren't already, you may want to consider using a password manager to generate and store unique, strong passwords for you. And you can check out one of my previous videos on password managers for more information on that.